Simulan mong abutin ang iyong pangarap Na magbibigay danga sa iyong bukas Ang suliranin Hindi laging nandyan dapat mong harapin Kami iyong kasama sa bawat takin Magkaakbay nating lulutasin Dito sa Gagabay sa iyong pagkamulat Naway umukit ito sa iyong isipan Maging mapanuri Sundin ang wasto at nararapat Kagandahang nasal ang ipakita Ipadama ang pusong may malasakit Dito sa Fernandino Ating harapin ng walang takot Sasamahan ka ni Fernan At dino ang bagong barkada mo Fernandino Tint TV Nan, mabuti na lang at nandito ka sa teleconference natin ngayon. Bakit, Dino? Hi, naiintindihan ko ba ang aralin natin sa math? Ah, yung tungkol sa equation of quadratic function ba? Ang hirap nga, Nan, di ko gets. Ah, andyan pala si Fer, tanungin natin. Oo nga, medyo nakakalito, lalo na doon sa table of values. Ano kaya ang mabuti nating gawin para maintindihan natin ang paksang to? Ang mabuti pa, manood na muna tayo ng Fernandino Teens TV Season 2. Huwag kayong magalala, tiyak ako na makatutulong sa inyo ang talakayan natin kay Sir Ivan. Tara! Let's G! Good morning, dear viewers. How are you? I pray for your wellness. We are now down to the last week of the first quarter. And this time, we are going to explore more quadratic functions. I am your mathematics teacher. For today, Ivan T. Salas, and our episode is titled, Finding the equation of a quadratic function. For our lesson, you are expected to 1. Find the equation of a quadratic function given a zeros and b a table of values. 2. Apply quadratic function in real life situations. Before we dig deeper into our lesson, let us review our lesson by answering the activity that will be flashed on the screen. 
be ready with your ball pen and notebook in answering the questions. Are you ready? Fernandino Tins, what is the general form of a quadratic function? You may use the comment section if you are watching via YouTube channel. If not, you may write it down on a paper. Precisely, you are correct. It is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Or we can also write it as f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Given the quadratic function, y equals negative 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. Which is the quadratic term? Very good. It is negative 2x squared. What part of the quadratic function is 5x? Amazing. It is the linear term. In the equation given, does the parabola open upward or downward? Very good, Fernandino Tins. It opens downward because the value of A is negative. Next, what is the equation of the axis of symmetry using x equals negative b over 2a. Correct, Fernandino Tins. It is 5 over 4, or 1 and 25 hundredths. You have a sharp memory. Next, determine the coordinates of the vertex using hk. Bravo, it is 5 over 4, 49 over 8. Which are the x-intercepts? How about the y-intercepts? Very good, the x-intercepts are negative 1 half and 3. Or we can write them as negative 1 half 0 and 3, 0. And the y-intercept is 3, or it can be written as 0, 3. Remember, to get the x-intercept, set y to 0. To get the y-intercept, set x to 0. All right, I think you are now ready to take a challenge. Given the parabola, answer the following questions. You may write your answer in the comment section. Are you ready? What are the x-intercepts in the parabola? You are right. There are two x-intercepts in the graph. These are negative 1, 0 and 3, 0. How about the y-intercept? Excellent. 0, negative 3 is the y-intercept. What about the vertex of the parabola? Very good. 1, negative 4. Is the vertex a minimum point or a maximum point? Correct. 
it is a minimum point because the graph opens upward. Have you obtained the answers correctly? I'm sure you have. Make sure that you remember all the terms we have reviewed for they are connected to our topic for today. Meanwhile, let us have a short break before we begin our fun-filled experience in mathematics. Fernandenutins TV Season 2 will be right back, so stay tuned! Ang Schools Division Office City of San Fernando, Pampanga ay kaisa ng Department of Education sa pagsasagawa ng mga proyekto at programa na tumutugon sa mga pangangailangan ng mga mag-aaral. Inilunsad ang Division Call Center for Tutors and Guidance Counselors upang magbigay ng educational at psychological assistance sa mga mag-aaral, magulang at stakeholders ng division. Kaya, kung may nais kayong itanong tungkol sa pag-aaral, maaaring magpadala ng mensahe sa Division Call Center for Tutors and Guidance Counselors Facebook page o tumawag sa mga numero na makikita sa ibaba ng inyong screen tuwing lunes hanggang biyernes sa ganap na alas 8 ng umaga hanggang alas 6 ng gabi. Maaari rin kayong sumangguni sa ating guidance counselors na nagbibigay ng guidance and counseling services. Lahat ng inyong ibabahagi ay mananatiling confidential. Ang nasabing programa ay nagsisilbiring daan upang malaman ang feedbacks ng stakeholders para matulungan ng ating division na mapagbuti pa ang mga sumusunod na programa. Ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Tumawag na sa aming mga numero o bumisita na sa aming Facebook page at magpadala ng inyong mga katanungan. Fernandino Teens TV We are back, Fernandino Teens. Earlier, we just have had a review about quadratic function. As we continue in this lesson, let me show you some images that depict quadratic functions. Do you know that these images have relevance in our life? This can be seen in nature, or they may be man-made items from the parts of thrown basketball, bridges, arc satellite disk, to fountains. These geometric shapes are prevalent. These are considered as a strong shape because of their natural oval shape. In volleyball, after an underhand serve, the ball goes up over the net, reaching its maximum point, and then slopes downwards back at the ground. This scenario shows a parabola. The idealized projectile motion of a rock thrown from your hand is a parabola. In other words, if you throw a rock horizontally and have sketched its motion, through the air until it hits the ground, you will end up with a parabola. It is amazing, is it not? As we continue, we will learn how to write or find the equation of a quadratic function given the zeros. Zeros are roots or x-intercepts of a quadratic function. Let's take example number one. Find the equation of a quadratic function whose zeros are negative one and four. Then, we may write x equals negative one and x equals four. To find the equation of the quadratic function, if zeros are represented by r sub 1 and r sub 2, then 
f of x equals the quantity of x minus r sub 1 times the quantity of x minus r sub 2. Then, f of x equals the quantity of x plus 1 times the quantity of x minus 4, applying zero product property. Next, applying the FOIL method, the product of the first term, that is x times x, is x squared. x times negative 4 is negative 4x. Then, positive 1 times x is 1x. For the last term, positive 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. Combining similar terms, 1x plus negative 4x is negative 3x. Therefore, the quadratic function is f of x equals x squared minus 3x minus 4. Let's have another example. Write the equation of a quadratic function with zeros negative 2 and negative 1. Find the equation of a quadratic function whose zeros are negative 2 and negative 1. Then, we may write x equals negative 2 and x equals negative 1. To find the equation of the quadratic function, if zeros are represented by r sub 1 and r sub 2, then f of x equals the quantity of x minus r sub 1 times the quantity of x minus r sub 2. Then, f of x equals the quantity of x plus 2 times the quantity of x plus 1. Applying zero product property. Next, applying the FOIL method, the product of the first term, that is x times x, is x squared. x times 1 is 1x. Then, positive 2 times x is 2x. For the last term, positive 2 times positive 1 is positive 2. Combining similar terms, 1x plus 2x is 3x. Therefore, the quadratic function is f of x equals x squared plus 3x plus 2. This is the equation of the quadratic function. Now, it's your turn. Find the equation of the quadratic function whose zeros are negative 9 and 5. You have 5 seconds to write your answer in the comment box or on your paper. Are you ready? Start now. If your answer is f of x equals x squared plus 4x minus 45, then you are correct. Great job, Fernandino Tins. Let us now proceed to the next way in finding the equation of the quadratic function. This time, by using the table of values, let's take example one. Determine the equation of the quadratic function represented by the table of values. To find the equation of the quadratic function, let us follow the steps. Step 1. Take any three ordered pairs from the table and use this as the values of x and y in the equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. 
Suppose you have chosen negative 3, 2, 1, 6, and 2, 12. Step 2. Substitute the selected ordered pairs in the equation y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Using point negative 3, 2. Substitute it in the equation y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. 2 equals a times the squared of negative 3 plus b times negative 3 plus c. So, we have obtained 2 equals 9a minus 3b plus c. Let's name this as equation 1. In the same manner, using point 1, 6, substitute it in the equation y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. 6 equals a times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c. So, we have obtained 6 equals a plus b plus c. Let's name this as equation 2. Using the third ordered pair, point 2, 12. Substitute it in the equation y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. 12 equals a times 2 squared plus b times 2 plus c. So, we have obtained 12 equals 4a plus 2b plus c. Let's name this equation 3. Step 3. Solve the system of equations for the values of a, b, and c. We will subtract corresponding terms in equation 2 from equation 1 to eliminate c. Equation 1 is 2 equals 9a minus 3b plus c. Minus equation 2, which is 6 equals a plus b plus c. Then, equation 2 will become negative 6 equals negative a minus b minus c. 2 minus 6 is negative 4. 9a minus a is 8a. Negative 3b minus b is negative 4b. C minus C is 0. The resulting equation is negative 4 equals 8A minus 4B. And let's name it as equation 4. Next, to eliminate C, we will subtract equation 2. 6 equals A plus B plus C. To equation 3, 12 equals 4a plus 2b plus c. 6 minus 12 is negative 6. a minus 4a is negative 3a. And b minus 2b is negative b. We have our fifth equation, which is negative 6 equals negative 3a minus B. So let's pause for a while and have a short break. When we return, we will continue discussing the next steps for this given and we will discuss more examples about determining the equation of a quadratic function given a table of values. Stay tuned, Fernandino Teens. Maya po oras kaya kayo, Fernandinos. Ako pala ay Elwin Arlserano ng City Tourism Office ng Siyudad San Fernando. 
Ngayon yung bulan na ini, pagmasusyan tayo yung National Heritage Month na ating temang Victory and Humanity, Upholding Filipino Heritage and Identity. Kambena na ini, metong karang aktibidades na yung syudad, apin yung launching ng Bayong Heritage Passport. Yung Heritage Passport, apin yung metong karang proyekto ng kaya katamong syudad, yung paman na muna ng Mayor Edwin D. Santiago. Anong nuka rin makalagelangan din eganagan ng heritage sites, heritage structures, na akit tamo kin kay katamong heritage district. Makakaya daw din kay ni, ding importansya daw ding mapin na tradisyon, kay ni syudad, kalupa yung pamangawang parol, ang po yung pamangalesa. May aho siyang heritage passport, uling atin kang dapat gawan, anong nuka rin puntalan mula ding at syukin passport, at saka ka mag-selfie, kay ba't kanta palto making tourism office at mamiyalang sticker ka rin ega na ganang apuntulan mong lugar. At di mong may ngari ang tutong passport. Balo ni Ngeni, panahon na ini, eh tamo makain visa lumal, uli na ng COVID-19 pandemic. Kaya naman kimbanwa nga ini, agkatan ko lading bikers tamo, edad 18 hanggang 50, imbis na lumaot kayo po, Di na nyo lang dita ka oras di kaya katamong heritage structures kaya ni Syudad. Anya naman ka rin mumunang 50 bikers ang makayari kaya katamong heritage passport, may di na lang premium only San Fernando loot bag. Inggawan nyo mo bakang ta makapag-register, munta kayo mismo opisina na ng City Tourism, yung munisipyo, at saka kayo magdalang metong valid ID. Kabila ng kaya kayong heritage passport, ating makasipit ang instruction nung nano pa yung dapat gawan. Anya naman ka rin hanggang kapadyak yan, na nano ko pa, tara na! Fernandino Teens TV You're still watching Fernandino Teens TV Season 2 Before the break We have obtained Equation 4 and 5 Let's execute Now the next step In solving for the value of A We will multiply The terms in equation 5 by negative 4 and add its corresponding terms in equation 4. Our equation 4 will become 24 equals 12a plus 4b. Adding both equations will result in 20 equals 20a. Applying the division property of equality, we will divide both sides of the equation by 20. Therefore, the value of A is 1. To get the value of B, we will substitute A by 1 in equation 4. Negative 4 equals 8 times 1 minus 4B. 8 times 1 is 8. Applying the addition property of equality, we will add negative 8 to both sides of the equation, resulting in negative 12 equals negative 4b. Dividing both sides of the equation by negative 4, we get the value of b, which is 3. Now, we will substitute the values of a and b respectively, in equation 2 to solve the value of C. The value of A is 1 and B is 3. So, 6 equals 1 plus 3 plus C. 1 plus 3 is 4. We will add negative 4 to both sides of the equation. Therefore, the value of C is 2. Lastly, evaluate the values of a, b, and c in y is equal to ax squared plus bx 
plus C. A is 1, B is 3, and C is 2. Thus, the equation of the quadratic function is y equals x squared plus 3x plus 2. That is our second way of determining the equation of the quadratic function. I hope you have observed the process. Now, what have you noticed with the equation of the quadratic function formed given the zeros and the table of values? Very good, Fernandino teams. They are just the same. If the given zero or root is an ordered pair in the table of values that represent the quadratic function, then we expect to get the same equation. I am sure that you have observed the importance of determining the equation of a quadratic function, primarily when it is applied in real life. Now, that you have an idea of finding the equation of a quadratic function given the table of values, let us proceed to another example. Find the equation that represents the quadratic function given the table of values. What is the first step in finding the equation of a quadratic function? If your answer is to select three ordered pairs from the table, you are right. Let us choose negative 2, 6, negative 1, 3, and 0, 2. What is the next step? Correct. Step 2. Substitute its ordered pair to the general form of a quadratic function. y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Using point negative 2, 6, what will be the equation? Amazing! The equation is 6 equals 4a minus 2b plus c. It is obtained by substituting the values of x and y in y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. How about using point negative 1, 3? What will be the equation? If your answer is 3 equals a minus b plus c, you got it right. If we will use 0, 2 as our last pair, then what will be the equation? Good job! It is 2 equals C. What will be the next step? Excellent! We will solve for the values of A, B, and C from the equations we have obtained earlier. If we will substitute the value of C to equation 2, what will be the resulting equation? Wonderful! It is 1 plus B equals A. How did we come up with this equation? It is obtained by substituting the value of C to equation 2. So, we have 3 equals A minus B plus 2. To solve for A, we will add positive B and negative 2 to both sides of the equation by addition property of equality. Now, we have 3 minus 2 plus B equals A minus B plus B plus 2 minus 2. Then, 3 minus 2 is 1. Negative B plus B equals 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. Therefore, equation 4 
is 1 plus B equals A. We have A equals 1 plus B and C equals 2. Substitute these values to equation 1 to solve for B. Equation 1 is 6 equals 4A times the quantity of 1 plus B minus 2B plus replace C by 2. Using distributive property, 6 equals 4 times B is 4B minus 2B plus 2. Combining similar terms, it will be 6 equals 6 plus 2B. Now, using addition property of equality, the equation is 0 equals 2B. Then, applying the division property of equality, divide both sides by 2. It will result to the value of B, which is 0. To solve for the value of A, substitute B by 0, then A is equal to 1 plus 0. Therefore, the value of A is 1. Step 4. Substitute the values of A, B, and C to the general form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So, y equals 1x squared plus 0x plus 2. The quadratic function is y equals x squared plus 2. I'm sure that you have learned how to determine the equation of a quadratic function given a table of values and zeros of the function. I hope everything is clear to you now, Fernandino Tins. Let us check if you understand the lesson by taking some challenges. Be ready with your ball pen and paper. But before we give the challenges, let us have a short break. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Hindi lamang sa larangan ng pangkabuhayan apektado ang maraming pamilyang Pilipino, kundi maging sa larangan ng pagkatuto ng bawat batang Pilipino. Inilunsad ng siyudad ng San Fernando ang programa Nurturing Environment and System for Thriving or NEST isang education community pantry na naglalayon para sa isang malawakang pagtulong, pagantabay at paggabay na ang focus ay ang makapagbigay ng tulong at suporta sa ating mga mag-aaral sa pamamagitan ng pagbibigay ng educational needs gaya na lamang ng school supplies, tutorial sessions, study tips, at iba pang mga pamamaraan na mas lalong makatutulong sa pag-angat ng ating edukasyon. Dahil hindi hadlang ang pandemya sa magandang kinabukasang naghihintay sa ating mga mag-aaral. Sino-sino nga ba ang mga kalahok sa programang ito? Sa pagtutulungan ng ating school administrators, guro, magulang, at iba pang mga miyembro ng ating komunidad gaya ng barangay officials at sangguniang kabataan ay siguradong magiging mas matagumpay ang programang ito. Paano nga ba ang magiging proseso ng naturang programa? Una, magkakaroon tayo ng isang Facebook group, ang Pampanga High School Nest Education Community Pantry na pangungunahan ng Educational Pantry Coordinator. Ang mga magulang, tagapangalaga at mga guro ay ia-add ng ating Educational Pantry members sa Facebook group na ito. Sa page na ito, maaaring i-post ng mga magulang at tagapangalaga o sino mang miyembro ng Educational Pantry ang kanilang mga kahilingan o requests. Kailangan ding ilagay ang pangalan ng mag-aaral, 
upgrade at section para sa mas agarang aksyon. Oo nga pala, hindi lang requests ang pwedeng i-post. Pwede rin mag-post ang mga nais magbigay ng tulong o mga gustong mag-donate. Sabi nga nila, sharing is caring. Tandaan na ang Facebook group na ito ay pribado at posts na may kaugnayan lamang sa page na ito ang maaaprobahan. Mayroon din palang Google Form na ipamamahagi kung saan maaari nating isumite ang ating requests o kahilingan. Paano naman ang mga walang internet access sa bahay? Huwag mangamba dahil merong mga nakalaang drop boxes ang ating paaralan na kung saan maaaring ihulog ng mga magulang at tagapangalaga ang kanilang requests. Sa mga nais namang mag-donate ng school supplies, maaaring ilagay ang mga ito sa tabi ng drop boxes. Maaari ring mag-donate ng mga kagamitan o cash donation kaakibat ang pagsusumite ng deed of donation form. Pangalawa, mahalaga ang ugnayan ng mga guro at ng mga magulang o tagapangalaga sa programang ito. Gamit ang video calls o chats ay ipahahayag ng mga guro ang adhikain ng programang ito sa mga magulang o tagapangalaga. Maaari ring gawin ang orientation na ito ng face-to-face, -face, kasabay ng schedule ng kuhanan ng mga module. Gaya ng nabanggit, hindi lamang mga bagay ang maaaring i-donate. Pwede ring mag-conduct ng tutorial session, study tips, at iba pang mga kagamitan sa pagkatuto, gayat ng mga aklat o kaya ay gadgets. Ikatlo, ang requested needs ng ating mga magulang o tagapangalaga ay ililista ng ating nest focal person. Ang mga coordinator naman ang mag-aayos ng mga ito. Ang advisors ng ating mga mag-aaral, guidance counselor, at iba pang mga guro ay ipaaalam sa ating mga magulang at tagapangalaga ang petsa at oras ng pamimigay ng requested needs na gaganapin sa paaralan. Sabi nga nila, it takes a village to raise a child, kaya naman aktibo at iba yung pakikilahok ang inaasahan sa pagsasanib puwersa ng paaralan at barangay na siyang tutukoy sa pangangailangan ng bawat Fernandinong mag-aaral at kikilos upang matugunan ito sa tulong at suporta rin ng mga miyembro ng komunidad. Isang malawakang komunidad para sa isang produktibong educational community pantry ay tiyak na lilikha ng iba yung pagkilos upang maging mas magaan at madali ang pagkatuto ng bawat kabataang Fernandino. Kaya naman tandaan, magbigay ayon sa kakayahan, Kumuha ayon sa pangangailangan. Fernandino Teens TV You are still watching Fernandino Teens TV Season 2. Before the break, we have shown another example of finding the equation of a quadratic function given the table of values. Now, to test your understanding on the topics we have discussed, you will answer a series of activities. You may answer orally, comment your answer on the comment section, or write your answers on a sheet of paper. You are given five seconds to answer each item. Are you ready? Let's begin. For the first part, which is entitled Red Light, Green Light, determine whether the following statements are true or false. Answer or type green light if this statement is true. Otherwise, write or type red light. Number one, the zeros and x-intercepts of a quadratic function mean the same. What is the answer? Very good. The answer is green light. 
Number two, the equation of a quadratic function given two roots can be obtained by the quantity of x minus r sub 1 plus the quantity of x minus r sub 2. Green light or red light? Excellent. It's red light. Number three. If the zeros of a quadratic function are negative 2 and negative 1, then the equation of quadratic function will be f of x equals x squared minus 3x plus 2. What is your answer? Correct. The answer is green light. Number four, in solving for the equation of quadratic function, given the table of values, the first step to do is to select three ordered pairs from the table of values. Is it red light or green light? Good job, it's green light. Number five, the x-intercepts of a quadratic function are the points where the graph crosses the y-axis. Amazing! The answer is red light. Let us have the second part. You will answer multiple choice questions. Type the letter of the correct answer on the comment box. Number one. The zeros of a quadratic function are negative three and one. Which of the following represents the zero product property? Letter A, x minus three equals zero and x plus one equals zero. Letter B, the quantity of x minus 3 times the quantity of x plus 1 equals 0. Letter C, the quantity of x plus 3 times the quantity of x minus 1 is equal to 0. Letter D, the quantity of x minus 3 times the quantity of x minus 1. What is the answer? Correct. The answer is letter C. The quantity of x plus 3 times the quantity of x minus 1 equals 0. Number 2. What is the equation of a quadratic function whose zeros are 7 and 3? Letter A, y equals x squared minus 10x plus 10. Letter B, y equals x squared minus 10x plus 21. Letter C, y equals x squared minus 4x plus 21. Letter D, y equals x squared plus 10x minus 21. What is the answer? Amazing! The answer is letter B. It is Y equals X squared minus 10X plus 21. Lastly, which of the following is the general form of the quadratic function? Letter A, y minus bx equals ax minus c. Letter B, y plus bx equals ax squared minus c. Letter C, y minus bx equals c minus ax squared. Letter D, 
y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. What is the answer? Great! It is letter D. That is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Did you get all the items correctly? That's great! At this point, let us summarize our lesson for today. To find the equation of the quadratic function, if the zeros are given, multiply the two binomials such that f of x equals the quantity of x minus r sub 1 times the quantity of x minus r sub 2. To find the equation of quadratic function, if the table of values is given, we'll follow the following steps. A. Take any three ordered pairs. B. Use these values of x and y in the equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. C. Solve for a, b, and c using derived equations. And D, substitute the values obtained for A, B, and C in F of X equals AX squared plus BX plus C. Quadratic functions are graphed in a parabola. The shape of a parabola can be seen anywhere. They are scattered as math is everywhere. You can never get rid of mathematics. This subject teaches us that in every problem, there is a solution. Here are the references used in this episode. Again, this is Sir Ivan ending this learning episode with a quote by Albert Einstein. Politics is for the present, but an equation is for eternity. As you ponder on that, let me thank you for watching Fernandino Tins TV Season 2. Stay safe and God bless. Ang galing naman ni Sir. Alam ko na ngayon kung paano ko makukuha ang equation of the quadratic function. O ano? Solve na ba ang problem ninyo dahil sa panonood sa episode ni Sir? Oo naman. Ang daming mga teknik na tinuro ni Sir Ivan sa pagkuha ng equation gamit ang mga roots at gamit ang table of values. Ang dami na naman nating natutuhan sa araw na ito. Kaya naman... Maraming salamat, Sir! Isa na namang makabuluhang talakaya ng ating natunghayan, Bernardino T. Samahan nyo kaming muli sa pagtuklas ng bagong kaalaman dito lang sa Fernandino Teens TV Season 2 na kung saan ang kabataang Fernandino ay angat sa angking talino. Baga, yakapin mo ang bagong pag-asa Simulan mong abutin ang iyong pangarap na magbibigay danga sa iyong buka Ang suliranin, hindi laging nandyan Dapat mong harapin kami iyong kasama Sa bawat akin, magkaakbay nating lulutasin Dito sa Fernandino Teens TV Ang boses ko ay mahalaga Siyang gagabay sa iyong pagkamulat Naway umukit ito sa iyong isipan Maging mapanuri Sundin ng wasto at nararapat Kagandahang nasal ang ipakita Ipadama ang pusong may malapit